Hi guys, Meg Twin here. Wanted to show you the uh, progress on the cow milking. It's been uh, a lot of fun, I must say. Hang on a second, let me hit play here. Alright, we're going to go out here. You can tell in the inventory I've already purchased a cow from the uh, farmer's market. And I'm going to click on it. It'll spawn the cow. And I'll walk up and milk it. Uh, the cow's not supposed to walk away. Like I said, I'm still working on it. <laughs> he said, okay, I'm done. Take your milk. You leave me alone. And you can see that the uh, milk bucket shows up in the inventory. My next thing... Let me go ahead and pick up this milk here. Now we should have two. Okay. Um, my next thing is to make this uh, container interactable and to be able to put these buckets of milk into this container. That will be a feat in itself because I have no idea at the moment how to do that. Now I know somebody asked me how to uh, do the cow milking and it's impossible for me to do a tutorial on it because every project is different. But what I will do is show you how I implemented it. Now I have two collision boxes on my cow. I haven't uh, implemented the right side uh, milking yet, but the left side milking is what you just saw. This is the left uh, collision box. This is the right collision box. And in my event graph, looks scary, doesn't it? All right, let's do uh, from the left side since that's what I have implemented. I have a on component begin overlap uh, event on my left side collision box. I cast to the player, set the player reference, and I register the interactable actor. This is why it would be impossible for me to do a tutorial on it. It would take way too long and I got too many irons in the coal to take the time out to take that much time out to do a tutorial on it. So we register the interactable actor, we uh, get the character movement, set the uh, cow's walk speed to zero, and I get the player reference, get the inventory, and I query my inventory as to whether the player actually has a milking bucket. If he doesn't, let me go ahead and put this in now, let me get the player ref, and I'll get my widget HUD, and I'll put a show tip on here. Show tip. And the tip is going to be... You don't have a milking bucket. A and... Let's keep going here. Um, and then I'll show you how that works. Then I hit a do once. Then I call milk cow left side. And I set these collision boxes to no collision because um, when the player's done, sometimes he'll run into the collision box and he'll repeatedly kind of go into milking the cow, <laughs> which is not what I want. So here's the milk cow left side graph. I get the player reference, I disable the input, so the and the player controller here so that uh, the player of the game can't move the player around while he's milking the cow. Then I set is being milked, which is a boolean variable down here. I set that to true to show that the cow is being milked. Then I get the tool bucket, which is attached to the cow right here, but it's set to invisible. Where are you? It's uh, set to visible, but it sh should. Oh, right here. Okay, I get the tool bucket. Let me disconnect that so you can see. Okay, here is the empty bucket. Okay, now let me put that back so I don't screw up my own project here. All right, and okay. So, <laughs> we set the visibility to show when we encounter the cow. Then I take the player reference, uh, 
why do I do that again? Disable input. I don't need to do that again. So it's kind of good I go over these to, you know, and I find my <laughs> find my own mistakes. Um, so we'll just put the player ref over here. Because I've already disabled it. I don't need to do it again. I don't know why I did that. All right, and we have a timeline. I'll go back over this again real quick because I know I'm making changes as I go because I'm seeing my mistakes as I go. Um, we have a timeline here. After we show the bucket, the timeline plays, and it takes uh, 0.5 seconds. This is where we move the player in position. So we get the player character. We get his location, and I lerp it. We get his rotation, which is lerped as well. <clears throat> Sorry about that. And then I set the actor location and rotation. Then I get the left side box collision. I get its world location and world rotation. And I add minus 50 to the x value, 50 to the y value, and it's going to be totally different in your project, which is why I can't do a tutorial on this. This I just can't. Um, the z value, uh, plus 20, so that it actually gets on the ground. Wait, that's not... Uh, I don't think I need that Z value. I don't even have the uh, the Y plugged in. I don't think I need that. I'm going to leave it just in case. I mean, this is something I put together. This isn't the way to do anything. This is what I found worked for me. So I lerp both the rotation and the location of the player so that he faces the cow. Um, Actually, so he faces the same direction as the left side box collision, which is actually facing the cow. Um, then after I set that actor location and rotation, I get the player reference and I call its uh, play animation function, which is this. Oh, let me go back to where I was. Where was I? <laughs> Oops, I'm in the player. Okay, so we call that play animation. I tell it to do it one time. And we play the milking sound, which is what you heard. There's a delay of 4.7 seconds, which is the amount of time it takes for this animation to play. It says duration 5, but I did it at 4.7. And then I stop the animation. Wait a minute. I think that's the, uh, yeah, 4.7 is the animation length, not the sound length. So I delay it 4.7 to let it play through, and then I call stop animation, which is this right here on a function in my player. Then I get the player reference. Uh, its root component, get its world location and world rotation, and this is where I get the location to spawn the bucket of milk so that it's away from the cow and away from the player so that it, you know, doesn't interrupt with any other collisions. That's why it pops up where it does. Then I get the uh, the bucket static mesh and I set it to invisible and I tell it to spawn the bucket of milk. I tell it to spawn the bucket of milk. We set the bucket that's on the cow invisible again. We let the player be enabled again. We set is being milked to false and is grazing to false. And we delay for five seconds. Then I re-enable re the collision on the left side and right side boxes of the cow. And then I call random roam again. 
So that's what we have. Now let's, I'll show it to you again. First let me show you that we don't have a bucket. Okay, let me get rid of the bucket. I don't know if I can. I don't think I have it set up. No, I don't have it set up. Alright, let me get rid of the save file. That'll eliminate that. Okay, now we hit play. We don't have anything in our inventory. So I go over here to the farmer's market guy. He sells uh, feed over here, which I'll show you right now. Let's go over here. I can go into first person mode by hitting V. And we go up here. I don't have these set up yet, but you can buy apples, uh, green apples, oranges. I'm not quite sure what those are supposed to be. I forget. There's grains down there. And over here we have cucumbers, onions, potatoes, and eggplant that uh, we'll be able to buy. Okay, I'm not going to pick up the bucket. Let's get out of third person. Let's go over to the farmer guy and buy a cow and not buy the milk bucket. Okay, there's our farmer guy. He sells animals and food. So we'll get a cow from him. That's all we bought. So I walk away and I show the inventory and we have a cow in our system. Later on I'm going to make sure that the player is actually in the cow pen before it will allow the player to spawn the cow in the cow pen. That only makes sense. I don't want them spawning it willy-nilly. <laughs> Alright, we don't have a bucket so let's spawn the cow and try to milk it. See if that message comes up. You don't have a milk bucket, so we can't milk the cow, okay? Now let's go over here, pick up the cow bucket, and let's approach the cow from the left side since that's what I have set up. Oh, see, he's out of place. I need to work on this. This is why it's so hard to do an actual tutorial on it and get it to working. Bye, cow. Thanks for the milk. <laughs> And that's that. So I want to implement this, but I need to get that cow position down before uh, before I continue with this. So that's why you haven't seen a milk the cow tutorial. It's because it would be just too hard to do uh, based on what you have in your project. I mean, I'd have to go through the interaction system. I'd have to go through you know, I don't know whether you have your animals walking around or not, um, and everything is different, so it would be really difficult, but hopefully you can glean a little bit on what to do. <laughs> There's our cow walking over there. Bye, cow! <laughs> See you later! So yeah, we can buy uh, all kinds of stuff from the farmer's market, provided we have money. We can buy a bowl. A brown chicken, a white chicken, a pig. Oh, they're not allowing us to buy them. Why not? Oh, there we go. Okay, now I'm buying them. I have to left click. I was right clicking. Like a dork. There's a rooster. And here is a brown cow. So we'll get out of there. Thank you, Mr. Farmer Market Guy. Forget what I named him. And we go to the inventory and we have all these animals. So later on I'm going to implement whether or not we're in the cow pen, uh, whether or not we're in the hen house area, the uh, pig area, same for uh, the chicken, that would be the hen house area. Yeah, so that's what we have. And I haven't implemented what to do with a bucket of milk yet. Um, so yeah, I'm still working on the UI too, so so that's where I'm at. Uh, oh, we got our nighttime sky rolling. I think I showed that. I'm not sure. Where's our moon? Our moon ain't out yet? Huh. Not yet. 
See, I don't like that ticking. I gotta work on the... Oh, the moon's coming up. Let's check it out. Here comes the moon. <laughs> Definitely needs work. I need to... I've tried three night and day sky uh, things, tutorials, and uh, I'm just having a hard time finding something that fits. I think this fits, but I don't like the way it... Uh, moves like that that's weird but anyway I showed you what I wanted to and I'm still working on it still plugging away and I'll catch you guys later on when I have a little more progress so thanks a lot for being here bye bye